Of the origin of this fierce and turbulent tribe two accounts are given. In the statistical account of Kildonan, it is stated they are descended from the Norse kings of Man, and that Gain, their progenitor, was the eldest son of the king of that island, by his wife Christina, daughter of Farquhar, Earl of Ross, who, according to Douglas, flourished in the reign of Alexander II. But Calder, in his history of Caithness, asserts that their progenitor was Gunnis, or Gunn, brother of Swain, a famous Fresic pirate, who had been banished from Orkney by Earl Harold the Wicked, and on arriving in Caithness, fixed his residence at Meter where he rose to such wealth and power that, in time he became known as the Great Gun of Ubster. In process of time his descendants became numerous, and were known as the Clan Gun, and they and the Keith bore a mutual hatred to each other, and were ever at feud from the following circumstances. Lachlan Gun of Braemore had an only daughter, Helen, who was famous for her beauty, and the day of her marriage with her cousin Alexander was fixed, but Dirge Old Keith, a retainer of Keith of Ackergill, whose advances she had repelled, surrounded her father's house with a body of armed Keiths, slew many of the guns who were unprepared for an attack, and carried off the girl to Ackergill, where she became the victim of her abductor, and eventually threw herself from the summit of the tower. Raid upon raid ensued now, and during one of these, in 1426, a desperate battle was fought between the two clans at Harpis Lale, eight miles from Thurso, and in it the Mackays of Strathnava, led by Angus Du Mackay, brother-in-law of the Lord of the Isles, bore a part against the guns. The conflict was rancorous and bloody, but indecisive. In 1438 they had another encounter on a greater scale on the Muir of Tannock, when victory fell to the Keiths. George Gunn, chief of the clan in the middle of the century, lived with barbaric pomp in his castle of Haybury, at Clyth. From the office he held, justiciary, he was known as Kroona Gunn, but by the Highlanders as Ambretti.Dehmar, from a great silver brooch that fastened his plaid. Weary of the fend, he and the chief of the Keiths agreed to meet, with twelve horsemen aside, at the chapel of St. Tears and settle it amicably. This was in 1464. The Keiths came with twenty-four men, two on each horse, and attacked the guns, who were engaged in prayer, the latter fought desperately, and were cut to pieces. George Gunn was slain and stripped of his arms, armor, and brooch. Soon after, William Mackhams, a kinsman of the Keiths, killed George of Ackergill and his son, with ten men, at Dromay, as they were traveling from Inverugie towards Caithness. The clan gun figure in 1581 in a case before the council concerning the renewal of a commission in justiciary in favor of the Earl of Caithness, then a minor. In 1585 the latter and the Earl of Sutherland had a fight with the clan win, who, though inferior in force, had the advantage of the hillside at Old Gown, and used their bows so well that Henry Sinclair was slain with 120 men, and the rest put to flight. Subsequently the most of the clan emigrated to Sutherlandshire under William and Henry Gunn. From Henry are descended the Hendersons of Caithness. One of the clan, Sir William Gunn, distinguished himself by his valour in the army of Gustavus Adolphus. He was Lieutenant Colonel of Sir Patrick Ruthven a Dutch regiment. In 1636, on the plains of Westlock, he commanded the right wing of the army under Sir John Brynier, and by the skill with which he handled it, the Austrians were defeated with the loss of 5,000 men, 30 pieces of cannon, and 150 standards. He was subsequently knighted by Charles I for his bravery at the Brig of Dee. 